What's up, everybody? The Axe of Champions 2.0 is finally in the shop. Oh my gosh. In today's video, we're going to see if it's worth buying or not. I'm going to share some gameplay, all that, my thoughts on the skin. So sit back, relax, get the snacks on deck, and enjoy. If we go to the shop, you will find the skin right here. The pickaxe for 1,200 V-Bongs. Wow. Pretty expensive. I said it before in my previous video that I thought this was a pretty expensive pickaxe. And it, in some cases, it costs more than a skin. For me, if you guys don't know, I used to do rap reviews. I stopped doing them because um, I have enough V-Bonks for the skins, man. And I, I prioritize skins over everything else because I feel like skins give you the most value. These are just accessories. That being said, the reason I think it's expensive, and like I said in the previous video, to keep it short, is because uh, you, you were only able to get this if you won FNCS. And uh, you would be able to keep it until the next FNCS, then it would disappear from your locker. So it was an insane way to flex on these nerds, you know what I mean? But um, now it's in the shop, and uh, I'm assuming they're going to have an Axe of Champions 3.0 on the way. So um, what are people sad about this? They're going to get a new one, okay? And the cycle will continue, and they're probably going to sell 3.0 as well. So, uh, you know what I mean? Epic, well played. Y'all finna make millions! You know what I mean? Anyways, I did already cover the review on Champion Kuno if y'all want to check it out. But I'll do y'all solid and cover uh, showcase her with the pickaxe. But yeah, I really like the hollow effect on the on the pickaxe. I think it's pretty cool, man. I wish uh I wish Bebe Girls had this effect on the booty shorts, you know what I mean? On the Jaya area. But uh this is nice too. Maybe a style with the other one effect. <laughs> I'm yapping. Let me stop y'all, but pretty nice pickaxe, y'all. Now my question is, is this gonna be rare? Is this gonna come back in the shop? I'm not too sure, man. Uh, you, uh, I've noticed that the FNCS skins, they started to say that they are gonna come back. So I feel like this will come back. That being said, I tell people, do not fall for the hype. Cop what you like, because you never know what's gonna come in the shop. And you may not have the V-Bonks to buy it. And if you notice, I'm actually doing this review a day later because I was really thinking about not getting this, man. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I, I, you know what I mean? I got 800 V-Bonks left. Incredibles coming soon, Halloween coming soon. Like, there's a bunch of skins I want to cover. Um, so I was like, do I really want to get this? It's a cool pickaxe, but I don't really care. You know what I mean? I, I'm not falling for the hype, bro. And I thought, you know, it is a nice pickaxe, and I feel like people are gonna want to see how it looks like in game, impact effect, all that. So I thought, I, you know what? I, I'll look at it as like an investment. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I'll earn back without. <laughs> what i put into this pickaxe but at the very least i hope this can help you guys out so if it does help you guys out and you want to support um keep to uh, you know what i mean help me continue making these videos please consider using my code crow dash lx i'm going broke catch boy love on twitch on to the gameplay you know what since i already have the skin i thought i might as well do you guys a solid and show how the pickaxe looks like with the new kuno skin anyways let's check out the pickaxe as you can see the light kind of reflects on the pickaxe which is pretty cool man like depending on where i'm standing it went from a red to like a blue aquamarine blue to a red it just depends on the angle to be honest and you could even say uh maybe even a yellow like a gold it's a pretty cool pickaxe man and if i'm moving around you do see the um, the light change you know i mean there's different um there's different like shine effects on this that um make it stand out a lot let me swing it around real quick pretty nice uh the swing uh sound effect is pretty interesting sounds uh kind of like an eagle kind of like a hawk maybe the fangs maybe the claws of a hawk to be honest pretty interesting man let me uh, show you how it looks like when she slides with it get some slide action I'm gonna try to give you guys as much as I can for this review so you guys can really um, get an idea of how it looks like. Okay, and you know what? Since I do have the emote, let's try to point it out emote. Just to uh, give you a better uh, showcase of the of the pickaxe. Like I said, it, it, the moment it moves, you see a bunch of different lighting patterns that come up on the pickaxe. You notice the staff, it like turns gold, blue, red pretty interesting now i'm curious on how it looks like at night i don't think it'll glow but it'll definitely uh, uh you know what i mean kind of reflect the light a little bit yeah you see that it's like a red blue combination right here man 
It's a pretty cool pickaxe, man. I feel like they made it kind of longer, kind of bigger, so you can kind of flex it. But ideally, I'm going to be honest, uh, I like more of the small form factor pickaxes. That I wish the staff was a bit smaller, to be honest. Anyways, this is how it looks like in the dark room. Let me uh, show you guys the impact effect. Okay, that's pretty awesome, man. I was hoping it'd be something unique, and uh, it is. Wow, that's kind of cool, chat. Like, if you really focus, obviously, it's like a purple kind of nebula splash. Purple bluish. But every swing, it like summons stars. Do you guys see them? It's like very minimal, but you do see like some stars coming out of the, um, the impact. And they're always randomly placed, by the way. Which is pretty nice, man. I, I like that a lot. But yeah, like I said, I like the more small form factor pickaxes. I don't know, something about that more vibey. It's more vibey to me. But this is nice too. Let me see how it looks like breaking uh breaking wood, because I know y'all supposed to be uh You know what I mean? Do y'all like this? Should I start adding like I said, I, I don't I don't be reviewing pickaxes, huh? <laughs> I'm just kind of making it on the spot. I'm showing you guys how the pickaxe looks like um like if you were build battling or something. Getting some build bat uh, battle action going on. Let me get my weapon real quick. And uh, let's pretend I was 1v1, right? Let's pretend I was 1v1. Booga! Looking at it, you know what I mean? Get up there, you know what I mean? A little build, you know what I'm saying? Boom. You box fighting now. Oh my good god. Give me that. Give me that wild, my boy. Give me that wild, boy. Looking at it. Oh my. Um, ass! <laughs> I know what time it is, man. Hold on, one more time. Yeah, this is the pickaxe wall takeaway um showcase. Am I why am I missing that? But yeah, I mean I think it's a pretty nice pickaxe, yeah. Like I said before, man. It's just pretty expensive. So like I don't know if uh you guys wanna buy it. I think a lot of people are gonna buy it though to flex and all that, but like I said, you know what I mean? It's I think it's gonna come back. Speaking of coming back, do you guys think this will be rare? I saw a comment in my previous video of, uh, talking about this. Do you guys think the pickaxe is gonna be rare? Uh, I don't know if I saw a notice saying if it'll come back or not, you know what I mean? But I tell people, don't fall for the hype, cop what you like, man, because, um, you know what I mean? There might be something new that comes in the shop and you won't be able to afford it. That being said, if you guys enjoy the content and you want to support, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more. Use code crow alex in the item shop. Helps a lot. Catch your boy live on Twitch. It's your boy Crow. Holla at your boy. Yeah!